story time because I forgot that today was Friday. I thought today was Thursday. So this story time is about when my ex, because I stopped talking to her. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on. So this story time is about when my ex best friend She's ex because I stopped talking to her for this reason. It'll seem like a petty reason why I stopped talking to her. But I was in middle school and yeah, that's how I was feeling. So my ex best friend tried to force convince me. I have to make sure he's out of my range. Ex best friend tried to force me, force convince me that I needed a man. Mind you, we were in 8th grade when this happened. I have lint all over my shirt. Um, I decided that I'm going to do story times on my channel. I have a lot of stories that I need to share, that I need to get out of my brain. Because they're eating me alive inside. I think that's the reason why people do story times. Because stories and stuff that has happened to them are eating away at their souls. And that's literally, yeah, that's literally why. So... We were in middle school, and this day, like, I loved her. We were friends for a long time. We hung out. She hung out at my house. We hung out at her. I hung out at her house sometimes. We went different places. Our parents would, like, drive us back and forth. Like, she lived about 30 minutes away from me, and my our parents would drive us to see each other because we were best friends. And like we were like she was like my boyfriend or something because we l talked on the phone like we fell asleep talking to each other on the phone and we were like like we just talked about everything we talked about boys we talked about clothes like we were in eighth grade i mean well, when this happened but we've been friends for a long time we, we talked about boys clothes um music justin bieber everything so yeah and yeah we talk about how we hated our schools and everything like we had adult conversations in middle school like she was so smart and she could sing so well and i i should like sing something to give you a description of what she said was good like she, we would have singing contests on the phone because we both loved to sing at this time. And she was such a great singer. But she always said that I sounded good. But no, I didn't. Because I don't sing. But I'm going to sing a song just to give you... They're bumping. Old school music. Just to give you... Um... Just to show you I can't sing. Alright. I love Rihanna. Ruby. Because my nickname, my real nickname is close to her, so. Oh, me, let me, let me, side note. I don't like when people tell, call me my nickname that are not my family. Like, it's okay if my cousins call me that. But it's this grown person that I've not seen since I was a child calls me that it's like continue a cold sweat hot headed believer <laughs> I threw my hands in the air I said show me something and he said if you dare come a little closer Round and around and around and around we go. Sounds awful. 
now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now, you know. Oh, not really sure how to feel about it. Something in the way you move makes me feel like I can't live without you. And it takes me all the way. I want you to stay. But, oh, mind you, I got hand sanitizer on my pants. So if you see that, just. <sighs> so I couldn't sing that song, so I'm gonna try the one more song, and then I'm gonna stop and get on with the story. Beauty queen of only eighteen, she has some cut. I don't even know the words. Wow. He was always at to help her. She. It belongs to someone else. Hey. Since the return of the sale, moon, she lets lights be and toss I do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not really saying I'm just playing. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me, did you sail across the sun? Did you make it to the Milky Way? See the lights all faded. That heaven is overrated. Tell me, did you fall for a shooting star? One without a doubt. Don't you hate when your phone does this? Like you're like someone's about to call you and it just pauses. Does anyone else do that? Like it just stops. Like. She's back from this soul vacation, tracing her way through the constellation. I just write open. I think they're that sound like your instrumental. So, yeah. So we have seen competitions on the phone, and do you guys pants do this? And I said I felt kind of emotional talking about her. But I don't anymore. Like, I like her still. I mean, I stopped talking to her for this reason, which was, was a petty reason. But it was middle school, so, you know, started my, the, the pet, the petty. Anyways, I still, she's an amazing person. And she didn't know it would, like, hurt me like this, but whatever. Or, or I won't say how necessarily it hurt me, but, like, it hurt. Okay. So, yeah. So, the last convo we had before this blow up, I told her I was tired of school, that I wanted to move, and she had a couple of boyfriends before. But we're going to call my friend Lucy. Or Lacey. Lacey, I write, in one of my stories, there's this girl named Lacey, so we'll call her Lacey. Lacey was not really supportive and, and, of during my phase of wanting to move. Like, she really didn't want me to move, like, of wanting to get away. So, she didn't know what to do. And it wasn't Lacey's fault that she... It wasn't Lacey's fault that she did not know what to do, but I kind of needed her, and she kind of, like, side-ditched me for a guy, but she didn't mean to. She was just, she was like, do you want to talk to my friend? And I was like, what friend? And she was like, it's a guy, we are friends, and I think he'd be good for you. I was like, no. <laughs> I think I said it like that too. I'm gonna get done because I have to upload it for 12. So, she was like, it's a guy, we are friends, and I think he'd be good for you. And I was like, no, because I thought I would get in trouble by my mom. Because this was eighth grade. Lacey wouldn't let it go that I didn't want to talk to her friend, so I can go point her. Into my new location, I need something bumping. That's not it. A few weeks into... A few weeks into my new location, 
I hear bring bring at the time was probably like baby because Justin Bieber was big so I'm about to play it I wonder do they have a remix to this song that'd be kind of cool it's so hot in here wow Jesus Christ There's a bad and bougie baby remix. I'm scared. This is Chop Killer's Baby Baby. Okay, I'll listen to this instead. Same name, different song. It was probably Justin Bieber or some ish like that. My ringtone. And it was her. <laughs> it was Lacey. All, and I put LLLLL because I wrote this out beforehand. All I heard her say was, I talked to my friend about you. And he seemed interested. I can't read my writing. This song is dope. Okay. Okay, so getting back to my story. Okay, so so, mind you, I've never met this guy. Don't know what he looks like. So she tries to describe him. He doesn't sound attractive. She was like, um, he is. I was like, um, I think I had Facebook at the time. This was in eighth grade. Um, and I was like, okay. Um, oh, and she was like, okay, I showed him a picture of you on Facebook. And I was like, okay, what is his Facebook name? She gave it to me, and he was cute. So, <laughs> I got kind of excited, but I was skeptical, because I've never met this dude in real life. And we are miles apart. Like, what is this? Side note, I would like to meet this guy again in person and be like, can we start over? <laughs> That's what I wrote. Because um, he was cute. Anyways... She's like, I gave him, I keep messing with my hair, that's because it's in my face. Okay. So, she was like, I was like, what? Say that? She was like, I gave him your number. I was like, what? Say that again? Because I didn't hear you. What? And, um, she made me feel that she thought that I needed a man. I think when I was talking about my problem, she was like, just get a guy and you'll be fine. This is in eighth grade. Anyway, I was like, no, do not have this Negro call me that I have never seen in my life. And I said something like, well, tell him no. I was sassy in eighth grade. At this point, I screamed her name. <laughs> Lacey. Then she hung up, or I hung up, and now let me tell you about our living quarters. So, my mom and I shared a room at my uncle's house, so one room. So, I hear people saying, oh no, oh no, that's right. So, my mom was in the same room when this happened, when this nigga called. He was like, "Hello." He was, okay, so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like portray he was like hello <laughs> i was like hello <laughs> he was like um lacy told me about you and i saw your profile picture and she told me you're funny and fun so we should talk on the phone sometimes and i was i like in my, that guy voice well anyways i was like what 
I just um, not even met you. Like I just now talking. I can't believe this is still taping because it only had four minutes. I would not be talking to no girl or boy. Like no, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to party, not trying to talk to anybody on the phone. So. Oh, I was like, you, you, you're busy. Go have fun. He's like, I wouldn't talk to you. I was like, okay. But if it was me, I, this is why I told him. I was like, oh, I would not be talking to anyone on the phone. I'd be having fun. So, um, I told him to enjoy the party multiple times, but he kept saying, no, no, it's okay. You're good. I really wanted him to get off the phone, but I let him talk that night. Next night, the next night he called me about 12. I'm an owl, so I stay up regardless. Like, I'm not staying up because I'm trying to be, like, wild or something. I stay up because that's just, I've always stayed up really late. Trying to adjust my makeshift tri ghetto tripod, which is a computer and two pillows. That would be okay. And on my computer, making videos and taking photos because that was my hobby, making dance videos. They were bad dance videos. Like, they weren't, like, bad, like, sexual. I mean, like, they were, like, bad dancing. It was what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, he was like, oh, so he called. He's like, have you heard? I'm gonna like write it. And she's not afraid to say He's like, heard of. And I was like, what? <laughs> then I don't think this boy even told me what it was. He just started like grunting on the phone. And I don't know. I wrote, like, I was going to try to do it like a guy does it. I don't know if I can do it, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, like, mm, I don't know if I can do it, but anyways, y'all know what it sounds like, don't play. So, I was in my, the room with my mom too, and I didn't, like, I did not want to hear this! <laughs> so that went on for a while, he was like, heavy breathing and stuff. I was like, I gotta go. And <laughs> I would like to be, I would like to talk to this guy in person now because I would like to be, I would like to be friends. I want to talk to you. And well, I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. I was like, I gotta go. And all I was saying, I want to be friends with this person. I have no idea where he is. Like, I looked at my ex friend. I didn't talk to her after this, and we kind of like split apart. A lot of stuff went on in her life that is personal, so. But anyway, we don't talk anymore. But she's just still a cool person. But this guy, I like to share this memory with him because I think it's so funny. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I felt really uncomfortable and I didn't know what to do. And I was like, trying to participate but it really was muffled and yeah i didn't really want to i just say never never feel like you're you have to force yourself to like anyone a girl or a guy or anyone like never force yourself in any situation so that's that story time i thought it was funny it's 10 53 my upload is supposed to be every Friday, and I don't know how, I don't know if my laptop's going to edit this fast enough so it can be uploaded by 12, but, well, you know, let's see. So, yeah. It's been really fun taping this. This is my first story time. So, yeah. Peace out, A-Town.